Hi, it's the broker that gratitude guy. Retirement. We're wrapping up 2013, and heading into 2014. A great time to really evaluate how the previous year was and what you're going to be planning for the, the year coming up, in this case, 2014. I know a lot of people that are either retired, contemplating retirement, counting the days to when they're retired or whatever, and that's fantastic. But this is such a great opportunity to think about what are the gifts that you've been given and what are you doing with those gifts? That's one of the reasons I like gratitude so much because it constantly, constantly, hopefully in a daily case, if you're writing your gratitude journal every day, focus on everything, focuses rather, on everything that you're grateful for and that you have in your life, maybe versus what you don't have. But it's such a great time to think about what is your purpose? What is your significance? What is your contribution? And one of the things I've noticed with gratitude is, again, it keeps reforming and reframing. And as I've moved away from the corporate world into gratitude and speaking and teaching about gratitude, it really made me aware of the gifts that I've been given. So retirement may be in your future. You may be counting down the days to that. But think about what are you doing with those gifts that you've been given and how might you be able to help other people? In my talks and presentations, I talk many times about a lot of the tragedy and stresses and different things that I had to overcome in my life. One of the best tools I ever figured out is if you want to help yourself, help other people. So as we wrap up 2013 and head towards 2014, think about that. Think about those gifts that you've been given and think about how you might be able to impact people's lives in your world as well. That's the message for today. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a grateful day.